Hi everyone, thanks for joining this Trident Talks Black Cat edition. Uh, I'm Max Horseman. I'm a principal consultant here at Trident Search and I'm joined today by Raj Malampati, CEO and co-founder of Blue Flag Security. It's great to have us with you with us today, Raj. Thanks for joining. Um, can you please introduce uh, Blue Flag briefly for us, um, for those in the audience that aren't familiar? Yeah, absolutely, Max. Again, it's a pleasure uh, being with you uh, here. Um, just a quick uh, background about uh, Blue Flag uh, Security. Um, we started the company about uh, two years ago, and uh, the primary reason why we started the company, and this talks about uh, the problem statement itself, is um, because uh, you know we saw that uh, you know software supply chain security solutions or SDLC security solutions uh, were only focusing on identifying. Uh, what I call code-based risk, right? So reactively identifying code-based risk, right? Unfortunately, that's not good enough, as evidenced by the 7x increase in uh, SDLC security or uh, software supply chain security attacks over the past uh, four years, right? And again, the second reason why I say that's not good enough, which is code-based, uh, just looking at code-based risk, is because three quarters of breaches Right in the SDLC um, process or SDLC security space happens because of overlooked attack vectors like privileged human identities, privileged non-human identities like service accounts, machine accounts, insider threats, malicious behavior, etc. Right. So that's we saw that there was a huge gap in the sense that no customer, no solution is looking at identity as an attack vector. Misconfigurations are, uh, think of it as pipeline security posture as attack vector. And that's the reason why we started uh, the company, right? So fundamentally what we are doing here at um, Blue Flag Security is providing a unified uh, SDLC security and governance platform that proactively protects and remediates against these attack vectors, right? So specifically, all the attacks, uh, you know, associated with uh, identity uh, misconfigurations, and of course, our code-based risk, right? So, for example, we help minimize developer security risk, right? We eliminate. Uh, DevOps uh, or pipeline tool misconfigurations, right? And then obviously we protect against code-based risks like um, secrets, uh, like open source vulnerabilities, et cetera, right? So that's mm. broadly why we started the company and what does the company uh, uh, provide to enterprises? Yeah, absolutely. And you've briefly spoken about the journey so far, I guess. So I guess I'm going to tailor my next question a little bit specifically to Blue Flag, but I know that you emerged from stealth mode, you know, only earlier this year, but you obviously founded a couple of years ago. So I guess the audience would be keen to to know a little bit about kind of what predated that emergence from from stealth, right? And kind of why you took the choice to emerge when you did. Yes. Yeah, that's a great question, right? So um, if you think about uh, specific the blue flag security, right? So what mm. we ended up doing is, uh, you know, if I think about the pre-stealth journey, roughly 18 to 19 months, um, the first thing that we did was, uh, you know, once we got the concept and once we understood the overall huge gap in the SDLC security uh, space, the, we literally spent the first six months talking to a bunch of uh, prospects and um, and just uh, design customers, for lack of better words, right? Understanding the problem, the capabilities that we need to build into the platform, right? Literally didn't really write a ton of code early on. Fundamentally, it was flushing out what should uh, a platform look like and then thinking about what should a you know, MVP or minimum viable product uh, look like right that's literally what we spent uh, the first few uh, the first few months uh, you know when we started the company and then the next uh, sort of the next phase was you know identify not just identifying but actually sort of onboarding those uh, design customers right what i mean by onboarding is leveraging them to actually build the platform right that's fundamentally was the second step uh, overall in terms of uh, the overall uh, building the company right and obviously in parallel to building the 
sort of uh, the product, the platform, what we were also doing is uh, raising money, right? Um, I mean, obviously they would go, they go both uh, hand in hand, right? Um, mm-hmm. You know, one of the things uh, being sort of uh, serial entrepreneurs, both Ken and I, was, uh, you know, you've always got to go take a measured approach to raising money, right? Don't want to be raising a ton of money. You want to raise money, which mm-hmm. is really, uh, you know, uh, you know, appropriate to where you are as a company, right? So we kind of are doing both of those things. And then um, once we closed uh, a seed round, we ended up uh, taking about uh, 11 and a half million. You can call it a you know, decent sized uh, seed round. Right. So we, yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> so we basically so that's what that was when we were like, look, um, we have to, you know, we need to come out of stealth to a broadly evangelize the problem statement. B also to actually start accelerating our go to market. Right. So the decision to come out of stealth was uh, sort of, uh, you know, those are the factors that went in. Right. A I've got to go make sure that more and more prospects understand that uh, SDLC security is not about reactively only focusing on code-based risk, but the bigger problem, specifically identity-based threat, right? Pipeline, security posture-based threats, et cetera, right? So A, helps us evangelize. B, helps us accelerate go-to-market. And then, um, you know, C, um, you know, helps us also scale up the, you know, the product uh, faster, right? So that was basically mm. from a timing perspective, why we did that. No, I really uh, appreciate you yep. giving us your insight there. And uh, of course, the reason we're here is uh, Black Hat, right? So I'm keen to understand a little bit about kind of your plans and where people can find you if they're interested in learning more about Blue Flag. Absolutely. Right. So, um, yes, uh, I will uh, certainly be there at uh, Black Hat the entire, I would say, from Sunday all the way through Thursday. Right. Um, at this point in time, we, we don't necessarily have a booth at uh, Black Hat, but uh, would love to meet with the prospects, customers and talk about uh, the value that we are uniquely providing here at Blue Flag. Uh, best way to reach me, Raj at uh, blueflagsecurity.com. It cannot get any simpler than that. Fair play. Well, look, we'll also put a uh, link to uh, Blue Flag's page under the video. So if anyone wants to follow you that way, they can. I'm sure your marketing team will be releasing updates before the event. Um, and look, quite a topical one. I know we discussed it off air a little bit, but keen to understand uh, your thoughts on the Wiz acquisition um, by Google. Obviously, as a previous COO of CloudNox, who we were acquired by Microsoft, I thought this one would be quite an interesting insight. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, what uh, what the potential acquisition news, at least, uh, what it indicates is the interest in broadly the cloud security space, right? I mean, and the way I think about it is that, look, I mean, Fundamentally, right, um, you know, both SDLC security and cloud security are adjacent spaces, right? What I am significantly excited is the fact that, number one, right, multi cloud environment, multi tool environment of heterogeneous developer environments are obviously here to stay, right? Mm-hmm. And this is a very clear indication that Google. Right, is uh, probably going to double down on a multi cloud and a multi platform strategy, right? And also, secondly, it also is a very clear validation on how critical, right, broadly the you know, code to cloud uh, security market is for enterprises uh, globally, right? I mean, that's that's what I'm excited about, right? Personally, for Blue Flag Security, again, it's uh, from my perspective and based on our past experiences at CloudNox, it's a clear, clear validation that this is uh, this broad market here is here to stay. If anything, I mean, using a baseball analogy, we are still in the probably in the second inning of a nine inning game or using mm-hmm. a cricket analogy of a five day mm-hmm. test match. It's still <laughs> the first session of a five day test match. I love that. Um, Raj, I really appreciate you joining today um, and I look forward to meeting you in August.